In the 17th century, Japan enforced a policy known as sakoku, or closed country. This is not, as is often thought, isolationism. Trade actually greatly increased during this period. However, Dutch and Chinese ships were limited to very specific ports over which the Tokugawa government had complete control. To enforce this policy, the daimyos constructed lookouts and coastal defenses all over Japan. From this high point in Wakayama City, watchers would be able to spot any ships looking to dock at Osaka. There was a second rush of construction in the 19th century. In 1854, Commodore Matthew Perry of the United States led an expedition to charter a trade agreement with Japan, by force if necessary. In response, several locations, such as this one on the island of Tomogashima, were fortified. In downtown Tanabe, there's another curious remnant of this period of panic. When the rundown Tanabe Castle was torn down, architects took the opportunity to redesign the entire surrounding neighborhood under the assumption that locals might someday have to fight in the streets. This meant no more four-way intersections. All the intersections in this area are T-shaped to confuse and slow invaders. And Tanabe, of course, had its own fortress. It's long gone, however, and all that remains is the ordinary-looking stone foundation. It was completed in 1854, the year of Perry's second journey to Japan. Now, one of the government's secondary objectives with the policy of Sakoku had been to halt the spread of Christianity by Portuguese missionaries. They feared that spreading the word of God was merely a pretext for an attack by Western forces. So it really is ironic what building sits atop the fortress's foundations today.